Many blessings to you and yours. Uh, it's Dr. Lovi Elias, and I am joined with my most amazing son, Uncle Fahed, a.k.a. Uncle Fred. <laughs> and it's going to be an amazing time. It's going to be an amazing time in the presence of God. And I believe that God is about to do something special um, for us today. I'm going to be speaking about why you don't hear God. Hmm. Why you don't hear God. Why you do not hear God. And, and you will learn very quickly that everything you are told about hearing God is a lie. Wow. Wow. It's a pure lie. I've heard people who are teaching people about hearing God. And most of them don't know what they are talking about. Yeah. Hmm. Honestly. A lot of them don't know anything about hearing God's voice. If anything, they have been missing God's voice. Mm-hmm. They have been walking by grace into what God has assigned them. But in reality, they are missing God's voice. Yeah. Mm. And you can always tell when somebody is missing God's voice by certain statements that they make that really frustrate me. Mm-hmm. And I feel like it frustrates me because personally, when you are called to be a prophet when you have a prophetic calling, Mm -hmm. it is different from a pastoral, evangelical, an apostolic, or a teaching ministry, even though they are similar, but they are not the same. Because a prophet's speciality is to hear God and to tell you God's mind. Mm -hmm. A teacher's duty is to make you understand what God has spoken. An evangelist's duty is to take the word of God to the lost. Mm -hmm. An apostle's duty is to establish you in what God has spoken. A pastor's duty is to make sure you are consistently growing in what God has spoken. The only one who really deals with the voice and the words of God directly from the spirit of God is only the prophet. Not saying the others don't hear, but that's not their speciality. Yes. So when I hear certain statements being made, it frustrates me and I will go into it and and it hurts me because I know what God has done for us. Mm -hmm. And by knowing what God has done for us, it is frustrating when people deceive people Mm -hmm. simply because their own deception, they apply it on other people and that becomes very painful. Yeah. Uh, Let me give you an example. A teacher of the word is not somebody who tells you Greek and English. A teacher of the word is that which uh, is is that person who unfolds the word of God for you to see the meaning of what God was saying beyond the words of men. But for you to know the words of the spirit. It's not Greek and English and many, uh, um, uh, what is this called? Many um, illustrations and displays. Mm. Those mean nothing for spirituality, yeah. mm. honestly. Yeah. And I'm going to go into those frustrations, but why you don't hear from God is a very big deal. And I really feel strongly that God wants me to talk about this. And I want yeah. people to share this as many times as you can, because this will change your life. It really yes. will. Amen. Number one. The biggest lie ever told is that you don't hear from God because of sin. Mm -hmm. Mm. You don't hear God because of sin. That is a lie. It's not the truth. If sin will stop God, Mm -hmm. then he is not God. That's 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 good. That's powerful. You have been deceived that sin keeps you from hearing from God. Sin can distract you Hmm. from hearing God, but sin cannot stop God from speaking to you. It's a lie. And I'll prove it to you in scripture. There is nothing I say or I will say that is not scripture. Mm -hmm. Let me show you one just for you to understand this and I'll give you many more. And you will know why, and I will tell you why you don't hear him. I'm telling you what you think 
stops you from hearing him. <laughs> what you think, it's not the truth. And I will tell you what really stops you from hearing him. Hallelujah, are you here? Hallelujah. Amen. Are you ready? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh God. This is good. Very interesting topic, Papa. Yes. Isaiah 59. Verse 1 and 2. Isaiah 59 verse 1 and 2. Isaiah 59 verse 1 and 2. Okay. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save, mm -hmm. neither his ear heavy that it cannot hear. Mm -hmm. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God. Wait, 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 wait. You got to read that slowly. I want you to really hear what God is saying. Pay attention. Because people have butchered this verse. Yes. And they have not said the truth. Listen to it again. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God. Not God from you, but you, you and your God. God. Yeah. Wow. The barrier is on your side, not on his oh, side. God. Wow. God's ears are not dull to hear. Mm -hmm. No, his hand shot to save. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But your sins have created a barrier between you and God, not yeah. God and you. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's good. It means God is not hindered by your sin, but your sin can hinder you, not him. Mm. Wow. wow. Yeah. Beautiful. Wow. It's plain. It's written yes. right there. Mm -hmm. Let me show you an example. When Cain killed his brother, he just came from murdering somebody. Mm -hmm. Who spoke to him? God. Ah, yeah, you're not there. Are you here or not? Yeah, yeah. Maybe we should stop. No, maybe no, we should no, stop. No, no, no. Because you're, you're, maybe the people online maybe are getting it. I'm trying to help you. This is really serious because something happened this, you know, uh, this week. Mm -hmm. And God made me speak about this today. And I was frustrated by that. But maybe God is giving me an opportunity to say it. Mm. Mm. So good. if you guys are not say active, it. I will say stop it. and I will. Teach us no, no, no. Listen. Teach us. The, the reality is this, I can already hear him. Yes. So I'm good. <laughs> this lesson is for you, not for me. Yes, that's true. Amen. Amen. And we appreciate Amen. that, Papa. Teach us. Cain kills Abel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The first person that speaks to him is God. Yeah. Yep. Yes. That's true. Not the devil. Yeah. <laughs> not his father, not his mother. God that's comes true. to him. Hey, God knowing, where is your brother? I don't know. I hear your brother's blood crying to me. Why did you do this? Mm. In the midst of his sin, he didn't even repent. God came and spoke to him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah he did. Mm. Yes. Don't you know that what make the Bible says the spirit of God convicts men of sin. Hmm. Mm -hmm. When you have sinned, who tells you to repent? Come on. Wow. 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 That's good. That's good. No, no, no. You didn't hear what I told you. Wow. When you sin, who tells you to repent? Who makes you aware that you have sinned? Yes. It is God yeah. himself. Yeah. 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 He tells you, ah, you missed it. Ah, oh, Lord, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. You repent. Yes. Yeah. It is the spirit of God that makes you to know that you missed it. Yes. So if sin separates you from God, then God is not God. So that yeah. is the number one lie ever told. Right. Yes. Wow. Biggest lie. Listen to me. Trust me. Yes. I'm a prophet. I'm telling you this. Yeah. It is a lie. Because yeah. no one is walking 100% without missing God. Mm -hmm. We are all failing. Come on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We are all failing. Yeah. Yes. So you hear the people telling you, ah, this and this. Why can't they hear him? Yes. Walk like this. Why can't they hear him? It's because they are telling you doctrines yeah. and ideas that are not really supported in scripture. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So about when it. David sinned, God was angry with him. God sent his prophet to speak to David because David was carried away with what he was doing. Yeah. Mm. He didn't even know what was happening. Right? Yes. Yeah. That's yeah. True. So the prophet comes and speaks to him. Hey, there's a guy who did this, this. What should happen to that guy? He said, ah, that guy should be this. He said, you know that guy is you. Yeah. David was, a, <gasps> he went on his knees. He said, Lord, I have seen God said, David, David, mm. why didn't you ask me for this? If you had asked me for this, even one of uh, your, your mentor's uh, uh, concubines, how would I have given you? Yeah. Yeah. You didn't need to kill this. Yeah. Notice, notice God's reaction was not what you would think. Yeah. 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 
a lot of people would have thought, David, how dare you <laughs> sin against the Lord thy God. <laughs> 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 but God was actually was like, my guy, right. yeah, you didn't right. need to do all yeah, this. Yeah. That's if it's good. this that you really wanted, I would have even given you some of souls. It means that he was eyeing souls, what? Ooh, wives. Wow. Yeah. God was like, I would have given you anyone from souls. Why? You didn't need to do any. Notice God's reaction. He tells you that the reason why David stopped hearing God was because of David, not because of God. Yeah. Wow. Very true. The first few people that I've mentioned are actually believers. Let's go to unbelievers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's go to unbelievers. And this should scare you. This should scare you because you shanda da 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 You can't hear anything and an unbeliever can hear God. Yeah. You have problems. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's true. Let's get the thumbs up going. We are at 300 uh, thumbs up and we have over uh, 640 people live right now. Let's get those thumbs up going. I will tell you why you miss him. And now you can fix that very quickly in two seconds. Wow. It doesn't take a lot, a awesome. little bit. Amen. That's great. Listen to me. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah. yeah. we're ready. Abraham goes to Egypt, hmm. a pagan nation. Hmm. Pagan nation mm -hmm. goes to Egypt. Tells his wife, hey, you're my sister. Mm. If we get there, don't say you're my wife. I don't want to die. He says, okay. <laughs> <laughs> they get to Egypt. The king is like, hey, uh -huh. little mama. <laughs> Abraham's like, yo, she's my sister. You know what I mean? Hey. He gets given some money, whatever. The pharaoh takes his wife, Sarah. Takes her to the palace. He doesn't touch her or anything. That night he goes to sleep. God appears to him. Mm -hmm. mm. And God tells him, you are a dead man. <laughs> the guy says, Lord, what do you mean? Notice he knows who God is. You don't wow. even know his voice. Wow. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Wow. Wow. You are still in the realm of, I don't know if it is God or it is myself. <laughs> yeah. Somebody who has never worshipped God, wow. does not Gracious know God, he hears him for the first time, he says, Lord. Yeah, mm -hmm. mm. yeah, yeah. That's, right. that's good. Wow, this is deep. This the is deep. first reaction, he said, Lord, you know I didn't touch her. He said, I know you didn't touch her because I kept you mm -hmm. from sinning against me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now you need to go back. Gives him specific instruction. Mm. Notice the revelation he's receiving in the dream. Mm -hmm. yes. What we call the vision of, a night, of the night. Yeah. Not yes. sleep and yeah. dreaming. This yeah. was a vision of the night. Okay. Because he's having a full on interaction with God. Yeah. God tells him number one. This is his wife. Mm -hmm. And that guy you took the wife from. Is a prophet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And now there is a curse on your house. Because you failed to hear me. Yeah. And you took somebody's wife. That is why when God came to him and told him, you are a dead man. Notice God began by accusing him. Mm -hmm. It means God had told him, don't take this woman and he yeah. didn't listen. Yeah, yeah. Wow. yeah. Wow. Do you get wow. it? Wow. Yeah, he missed realistic. God somewhere. Because God is coming and saying, you are a dead man. Yes. But God still kept him from sin. He's like, but I didn't know. He said, that guy is a prophet. How could you take a prophet's wife? Mm. How can you tell me about what I don't know? It means that God is always speaking. Yeah. You don't hear him. Wow. Yeah. That's, That's good. beautiful. That's good. It's very good. It is you. Wow. I wish I had more thumbs up. We are almost wow. 700. I'm trying to reveal something to you. I'm trying to reveal something to you. The guy is in shock, but notice the details God tells him. First of all, that guy is a prophet. Number two, that is his wife. It's not his sister. Number three, you need to give him a seed to pray for you so that I remove the curse over you because mm -hmm. you're already cursed. Wow. Wow. Yes. So God gives him three yes. revelations to release him from whatever Abraham had brought upon him. Mm -hmm. You, you just, things go wrong with you. You start saying, I don't know. Mm. People are speaking, they spoke negative words against me. <laughs> they did, but you walk with the Holy Spirit. No, yeah. you missed God. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Don't blame it on people, it's yeah. you. Uh, you didn't hear what I said. It's you. Yeah. Yeah, it's you. 
So a pagan king is able to hear from God. I'll pick another king again, another, another Egyptian king in the time of Joseph. Mm -hmm. He sees a dream, mm. seven healthy cows. Seven unhealthy cows show up and eat the, the seven healthy cows. And the man woke up, he said, nah, who is going to tell me the meaning of this because God has spoken to me. Mm -hmm. How many of your dreams do you forget? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Why didn't God go to Joseph? God went to the king. Because all authority and power comes from above. It doesn't matter what position you're in. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're not there on your own. God right. put you there. Yeah. And if he put you there, it means that he led you there. Yeah. Why are you missing God's voice? Yeah. Hey. Come on. Yeah. Wow. Imagine if the Pharaoh was not paying attention that That's when worse. God spoke to him in a vision of the night, he ignored it. Mm. You don't miss it. Egypt would have been destroyed yeah. mm -hmm. and Israel would have never been preserved. Yeah. Yeah. So God trusted that if I speak to Pharaoh, he will listen, he will listen to me uh -huh. and the nation will be saved. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But you full of the Holy Ghost speaking with a lot of tongues, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. you don't have direction for your life. It's your fault, wow. not God. Wow. Wow. This is deep, Papa. Wow. I pass. Nebuchadnezzar, an evil king, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is even seeing visions with the writing on the wall. The same finger that wrote the Ten Commandments wow. is writing for him. Mm. Wow. You, -da -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> zero. <laughs> that should make you feel, listen, if I was you, I would feel sorry for myself because I'm trying to help you. Yeah, yeah. Help, help us. Yeah. Help us. Yeah. You're helping, Papa. So, Murderer killed so many Christians. Mm -hmm. He's going to kill other Christians. Jesus is appearing talking to him. You, you've been full of the Holy Ghost. You have never seen him. Wow. Mm. You just feel liquid love. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I can keep going, by the way. Yeah, okay. Please, yeah. Papa, keep going. Let me give you one more. Okay. Mm -hmm. Balaam. A wizard. Yeah. <laughs> a juju person can hear God. Wow. He wants to curse the Israelites. God said, don't. He said, ah, how can I curse the ones that God has blessed? How did he know God has blessed? God yeah. spoke to him. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. A wizard can hear God. Yeah. You full of the Holy Ghost, you yeah. can't hear him. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Who is the one that is bewitched? <laughs> yeah. Jesus is coming and saying, my sheep hear my voice. My voice. I know them. And they follow me. Amen. They don't follow a stranger. They don't listen to strangers. They listen to me. Mm -hmm. It means one of the basic principles mm -hmm. that proves you are Christian is not tongues. Mm -hmm. Is your ability to know the leading yeah. yes. of the spirit. Mm -hmm. The Bible says those who are led by the spirit are the sons. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And a son is one that is inheriting heaven. Why can't you hear him? Mm -hmm. That should be a question that you're asking yourself. Yeah. Yes. This is not about prophesying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We are talking about hearing God for yourself. Mm -hmm. right. Yes. We are not talking about prophesying. And the Lord would say, huh? Ah. <laughs> no, we are not even talking about that. Because you are not qualified to prophesy to people if you don't know about your own life before God. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You are already disqualified. Yeah. Yeah. How can you have a word for me but you don't have a word for yeah. you? Right. Right. That's good. That's so good. good. This is deep. There's a man of God one day he came. He said, man of God, uh, 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 I came to California to anoint your legs, Ooh. your feet. Oh my God. I said, you will. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know whose feet you're about to touch? I should be the one anointing you. Yeah. 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 No, I'm not, even, I'm not even saying it in an insulting way. I'm just being honest. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Jesus is going to the Jordan. John says, I am not worthy to tie your shoelace. He understood the spiritual ranking that Jesus carried. Mm. But he knew that he had an assignment from heaven to do something. Yes. Mm -hmm. What assignment do you have? What, what are you, 
do, do you understand? But all this is because we have a lot of people in feelings. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> but not the light of mm. truth yep. from f the Father of lights. Yeah. Mm. If if you don't, you <laughs> I, l l let me tell you the truth. These things frustrate. They frustrate those who can hear from God mm. because you understand why we have so many bad doctrines. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Why we have so much deception yeah. is because people are in their own uh, 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 feelings. Yeah. Yeah. It is frustrating and it is disgusting mm -hmm. before God. Yes. Talk about it. So I want those thumbs up to keep going. We are over 700 now. Let's keep the thumbs up going because this is going to be very effective for you and I promise you if you pay attention and you listen to me you will understand. So notice everything that I told you just now must show that you're qualified to hear God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If a murderer can hear God, if a wizard can hear God, mm -hmm. if a pagan worshiper can hear God, yeah. why aren't you hearing God? Yeah. Mm. You is full of his spirit, you gave your life to him. Right. Mm -hmm. That's true. Do you know Abraham used to be an idol worshiper? Yes. Mm -hmm. You know Abraham came from uh, Abraham came from uh, ba ba Babylonian descent. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. He used to worship other gods. That is why when God came to him, told him, Abraham, leave your father and mother's house, come out of your tent, come out of your people, and go to a nation I will show you, there I will bless you. While he was serving his other gods is when God came to him and told him, listen, yeah. all these are idols, follow me. Yeah. I am God. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And he yeah. recognized. And immediately he recognized and he chased after God. Imagine in the middle of serving other spirits, mm -hmm. yeah. God shows up and introduces himself and takes him away. Mm. Mm. Do you know Moses was a murderer too? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, just mm -hmm. killed somebody in Egypt and ran away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. While he's in banishment, God calls him on the mountain. God doesn't even mention who he killed. Mm. <laughs> and you don't even hear anywhere Moses repenting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Saying, Father, I killed a man, have mercy. <laughs> Just run. Yeah. I'm not saying don't repent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Miriam and Aaron are talking about Moses, mm. insulting him. God comes and says, Guys, I want you to meet me in front of the tent. You, I want to talk to you. <laughs> they are in the middle of sinning yeah. against the servant of God. Yeah. God appears to them where they are and says, uh, Miriam and Aaron, both of you, I want you to meet me in the tent of the meeting. I will meet you at the door. They go there, they find God there and Moses standing there. Mm -hmm. mm. But they were sinning. Why didn't God just cut them off? Yeah. Yeah. Why wasn't the network interrupted? It means that hearing God is not what you have been taught. Yeah. 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 That's That's good. Good. I'm glad my son Will is here because other people, I don't know why they are here. Wow. They are too relaxed. Wow. He is appreciating this more than other people. Wow. Yeah, you don't say, well, I'll prove it. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate God. <laughs> I, I want you to understand this because these are the things that are, are truly frustrating. Listen to me, children of God. If you truly know the heart of God, you know people talk about the Father, the Father, the Father. To be honest with you, many of them don't even know him. Mm. Mm. If the Jews who were religious people, the people of the day at that time. Okay, I need to take off my jacket. I'm a little warm. Thank you. Thank you, Uncle Fahed. Oh, okay. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. If the people of the day, okay, if the people of the day were men of God, men of scripture, the Jews are very dedicated to scripture. Missed him. Yet the people who were not even committed heard him and followed him. Wow. Mm. Mm. Wow. That should scare you. Yeah. Yeah. That should put you in a place of... Mm, Some of you think fasting makes you hear God. Mm. Wrong. Yeah. yeah. Not true. It's a lie. Yeah. Right. Has nothing to do with that. Mm. Let's go to the book of Job. Right. 
then I'm, I'm going to explain some things to you so that you understand why you don't hear him. Amen. Please, Papa. Amen. We need this. I'm trying to be helpful because this is some prophetic school kind of stuff, but Job chapter 23, verse 12. Job 23, 12. Neither have I gone back from the commandment of his lips. I have esteemed the words of his mouth more than my necessary food. One more time. What version are you reading? Uh, King James. Good. Okay, one more time. Neither have I gone back from the commandment of his lips. Neither have I gone back from the commandments of his lips. I have esteemed the words of his mouth more than my necessary food. I have esteemed the words of his mouth, of his lips, more than necessary food. Your problem is the word of God is not important to you. Wow. That's why you don't hear it. Nice. Wow. wow. Yeah. Wow. That's good. Help it's the simple truth. It's true. mm. it's this is the basic truth. Wow. And I'm going to explain something briefly. And I pray this actually touches you. And I'm going to say it again. Yeah, please. Say it again. I'm going to tell you again. You know, I always find it funny. People who have not proven that they can truly hear him. Mm -hmm. They will try to tell somebody who's hearing him. <laughs> yeah. Come on. I'll tell you this. There's only two people I know mm -hmm. that are actually better than me in hearing God, and one of them is not alive. Mm. 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 Yeah, yeah. Mm. I'm not boasting. I'm just telling you the truth of what right. I know. Right. Mm. Yeah. Right. One of them has been with God. <laughs> Let me say it this way. What does it mean to esteem something? Mm -hmm. It means to revere it, to treasure it, mm -hmm. to put it at the highest place you can place it. Mm -hmm. Esteeming God's word mm -hmm. is the beginning steps of hearing God. Why? Wow. Because if I esteem something, then I do everything that I can to make sure I position myself to receive what I esteem. Yeah. Mm. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Amen. So what is keeping you from hearing him is you don't know certain protocols. Yes. Because if somebody who doesn't have the Holy Spirit can hear him, yeah. Yeah. somebody who is serving the devil can hear him. Yeah. Wow. Somebody who is serving other gods can hear him. Wow. And all these people end up following him. Right. And you who is with him has never have never heard him. Yeah. Something is off. Right. Definitely. Yeah. Mm. Good. yeah good. Let me say it like this. The Bible says this. The flesh and the spirit wrestle against one another. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. A carnal person sows to the flesh yes. and a spiritual person sows to the spirit. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. That's what the word of God says. Mm -hmm. A spiritual person cultivates his spirituality because they know it. Mm -hmm. A carnal person cultivates his carnality. Yes. Can I be honest with you? Please, Please. Papa. Please. Yeah, go ahead. This word of God can be taught in carnality or spirituality. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's true. Wow. That's good. Wow. Yeah. Good. This scripture you're holding... A spiritual person will speak spiritually. Mm -hmm. A carnal person will speak carnally. Yeah. Yes. The issue is because many of you are not spiritual, yeah. you go to a church where somebody is reading scriptures to you, but they are teaching you carnality. You think you're receiving spirituality. Yeah. yeah. Wow. wow. <laughs> That's true. Can I be honest with you? Please, yes. Papa. Yes. When you are speaking by the Spirit of God, you don't need anything physical to impress anybody. Yeah. Because you know, the one that convicts somebody to hear the word of God is the Spirit of God. Yeah. Right. Amen. 
not your illustration, not your demonstration. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because all those things end up in carnality. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> this is good. Break it down. Oh, I love that person's demonstration. Because that demonstration just makes you, you know, see the word of God. Yeah. If yeah. you need a carnal demonstration, right. you're not spiritual. Right. Hey. Yeah. So you Talk are sowing to the spirit. That is right. so good. This is deep. Wow. You are a million percent sowing to the spirit. Yeah. People don't understand. Mm -hmm. They will say, well, Jesus taught in parables. Do you know that the parable was not intended to be understood? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I know a lot of people who are watching, maybe they don't know this. Yeah. His disciples came to him. Can somebody find that scripture? Lord, why do you speak to them in parables? Jesus told them exactly why he teaches in parables. He said that, so hearing, they may not hear. Seeing so that they may not see. Yeah. Least they repent and I will have to save them. Jesus wanted to be crucified. If he spoke plainly, nobody would get saved. Mm. So Jesus wanted them to be confused. He did not want them to understand. So when he's talking about the seed and the sower, he was speaking in code. Yeah. He wasn't explaining it. Specific verse, please. Mark 4, uh, 11 is when he, he said unto them, unto you is given to know the mystery. Do you have the mic? I got Lucas. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, read it. Mark chapter 4, verse 11. Uh -huh. And he said unto them, Unto you it is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. unto them that are without S -s Listen. Unto you it has been given to know the mysteries of the kingdom. Mm -hmm. So for you to know the mysteries of the kingdom, it is because it is given. Yeah. Mm -hmm. wow. yeah. No physical demonstration will reveal the mysteries of the kingdom. Come on. Come on. No illustration will make you know the mysteries of the kingdom. If it is given to you, you will know it. If it is not, you will not know. Mm. Yeah. Right. Because God says, draw close to me and I will show you things you do not know of. Yeah. I will reveal things to you you don't know. I have things I want to show you, but I am hiding them. If you come close, I will reveal it to you. Yes. Yeah. So your level of revelation is your level of closeness. Mm. Is your level of, 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 of esteem, how much you esteem his word. Yeah. How much of carnality is in your life. Mm -hmm. And the grace of God chooses for you to know. Anybody that knows me, I am not one. I will never tell you I study the word of God. I will yeah. be lying to you. Yeah. Mm. How can I study when I have him that he can tell me? Yeah. Yeah. How can I study what is spiritual? Yes. Yeah. Right. I'm not saying don't study the word of God. Yeah. Yes. But I don't approach it in that way because if I approach it in that way, I am learning history, events of men of God, but I am not learning the mystery right. of the yeah. spirit hidden behind yeah, it. Yeah. Wow. That's good. That's, good. That's great. Yeah, right. ca ca can I say something? Yeah. Please. Say I'm going to Go speak ahead. in code. Yes. And this is no, I'm not insulting anybody. I'm just speaking in truth for you to understand. Mm -hmm. Yes, Papa. Tell us. Somebody was trying to teach about impartation, yet they have never imparted anybody. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And used a demonstration that didn't even make sense. Do you know why people are struggling with all these things? Yeah. It's because you're not spiritual. Yeah. Hey. That's right. Let me prove to you something. I'm just trying to show you why you're missing God. Yeah. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12. Let's keep the thumbs up going and I want you and I want you to really like the video because this is going to help somebody. Amen. Amen. Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 12. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, mm -hmm. piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow. Mm -hmm. And is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. One more time. For the word of God is quick and powerful. Now and stop right there. The word quick there mm -hmm. is the same word quickening. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the spirit of God will quicken your spirit. What does that mean? Mm -hmm. 
To quicken means to make alive. Yeah. The quick is not speed. Yeah. The quickness there is the word zao or zao meaning to breathe, to make alive. Mm-hmm. It's what makes alive. So when the word of God says, and God blew into the nostril of Adam, and Adam became a living soul, it, means, it doesn't mean God did this. Mm. Mm. Uh, he spoke yeah. the same yeah. thing that he spoke to the young girl, Talita Kumi. Yeah. Yeah. Young girl, yeah. rise up. Jesus didn't do. Yeah. He just say, oh, young girl, get up. Yeah. And the spirit entered the young girl and the young girl came to life. It's the same thing that God did with Adam when he formed his body. Yeah. When he says, and God breathed into him the breath of life. Wow. It is the same what God said, Adam, get up. And the spirit entered Adam and Adam mm. became a living soul. Wow. It's yeah. the same exact thing. The yeah. word of God quickens. Mm-hmm. It makes alive. Any man of God that tells you, I was trying to make the word of God come alive, has never heard God. Wow. How can you make what is a life giver already that is alive, yeah. Yeah, active? Yeah. How can you make the living word alive? How does that make s- You yeah. know, some of you don't even think. Help yeah. us. I'm sorry to say this. Many of you don't think. Please forgive me. How can you make what gives life alive how can you make what is eternal alive how does that even make sense Hmm. don't you know that the word of god is not meant to be explained in the way people are trying to explain it the reason why people are missing it is because you're watering it down you're watering down what is spiritual you're watering it down it was never meant to be understood with the brain you were supposed to go into your spirit make your spirit alive by making your spirit alive your soul comes alive and then your understanding comes god gives us wisdom then understanding god doesn't give us understanding then we receive wisdom that's backwards yeah Wisdom is the way it works. Yeah. Understanding comes because you have seen it work. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, that's good. It works the other way. It doesn't work. The w- Some of you are trying to understand something that cannot be understood until yeah. it touches your spirit because wow. this is spiritual. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Christianity is not a moral religion. Mm. Mm. It is not even a religion. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. When the word of God enters you, you automatically are molded. Mm. That's good. Automatically. Yeah. Automatically you are changed. Yeah. Not because you are trying to change. Even you will be surprised. Yeah. Yes. Why am I doing these things? Mm. Amen. Why am I just wanting to worship God? Amen. Why am I just better at crying before God? Yeah. Why is it that I just feel the presence? Who taught you how to do any of those things nobody something happened to your spirit and you knew something happened but you don't even know what happened that you are discovering what happened to you yeah Yeah. i remember my son will who has been with me uh, 10 years Hmm. i remember the first time will came into the house and will told me after he saw the services so 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 man uh uh (laughs) you know he started confessing sins. <laughs> <laughs> no, am I lying? This is the truth. He looked at me and said, you know, so I, I'm, I'm going to be straight with you. <laughs> I mean, I used to do this and I'm willing to stop it now. And I used to do this and honestly, I'm not trying to do those things anymore. What must I do? I said, just keep coming. Yeah. Mm. He was like, uh-uh. Amen. It's like, no, no, no. This thing is simple. Yeah. Just be here. Yeah. What you're trying to do, you won't even try. It will just happen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 Naturally. Wow. Listen. Naturally. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The reason why your pastor is deceiving you is telling you, don't do this, don't do that. Don't. It means what he's preaching is not true. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Because when the word of truth and you see when people say when people say teach about repentance, Jesus is coming. They don't even know what repentance means. Mm. Mm-hmm. Repentance means the changing of the mind. Yep. Yeah. 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 Yep. Amen. 
They think repentance means teach about sin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, people are sinning because you're not teaching them what makes them change. Yes. Yes. Right. That's good. If I keep telling you you're bad, stop doing bad things, your mm -hmm. mind will focus on the bad. Yes. 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 That's yeah. true. That's it. Yeah. But when I begin to encourage you for good, yeah. oh, you yeah. see what you did, keep, keep it up. Yeah. Uh -huh. You're doing amazing. There is courage that enters you to do positive, right? Yeah. Yes. 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 Amen. Right. So Amen. If you take somebody that has been in negativity and you put them around one person and you put them around 20 people who are positive, that person within a few days will become right. positive. Yes. Yes. Why? Because yeah. all they are seeing is positivity. Positive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. The issue with the church, mm -hmm. it is taking you back to the land of the dead instead mm. of taking you to the place of the living mm. yeah. so that you may receive life and you may change automatically. Yeah. Wow. Listen, I train with a lot of fighters, okay? Yeah. I, that's what I love. I train Muay Thai, I do MMA, that kind of stuff. That's what I do for fitness. Mm -hmm. I don't train with people who are not as good as I am. I train with people who are better, better. than me. Yeah. Why? Because by being with them, sparring with them, doing class with them, they auto what they do automatically makes me become yeah. good Amen. that I don't even realize that I'm getting, until when they're like, wow, okay. Yeah. Then I'm like, oh man, I'm actually doing that. I didn't even know that I had lifted up my standard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's good. Great point, Papa. Wow. Great point. <laughs> to be honest with you, a lot of people preaching need to go back sitting on the bench. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Yep. I'm just being honest with you. Yeah. Be honest. I'm being 100% honest with you. I'm not even, listen, this is, I'm not even attacking people. I'm just being honest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because I will never attack the body of Christ. I'll tell you the truth though. Yeah. 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 There are many people that are listening right now. Some, even you know, they are big, some are small. Some of them need mentors. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, they do. A hundred percent. I am as good as I am, even though God called me since I was six. I've been seeing God before I was born. There were events that showed my parents that I was called. I have a mentor to make sure that I'm walking on the straight line. Yeah. Amen. Mm. Amen. 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 What about you? Right. Yeah. Mm. So the first thing is that anybody that tells you, you know, in our church, we make the word of God come alive, run. Yeah. <laughs> they are teaching you carnality, not spiritual things. Wow. Let, let me let me let me show you something. <laughs> this is good. Yeah. Teaching good. This is good. Real good. Some people will not like it, but I'm just being honest with you. Okay. Say it anyway. And I'm saying this because I love Jesus so much and I don't want you to miss what the Lord Jesus has given to you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Papa. Let me show you Amen. something. <laughs> the Lord is good. Amen. Amen. First Corinthians chapter two, verse twelve to thirteen. No, two fourteen. <laughs> First Corinthians chapter two, verse twelve to fourteen. I can read it. Is it okay? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Is it okay? Yes. Now, or from fourteen, right? Did I say 14? 12, 12. 12 to 14. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit who is from God, that we might understand the things freely given to us by God. Mm -hmm. If you are struggling to mm -hmm. receive what is for free, you never heard him. Yeah. Yeah. That is good, Papa. That's so it good. takes revelation to know what is for free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. You are struggling to hear God's voice because you are trying to pay for what is free. Yeah. Wow. Only by grace. Mm. Mm. We have not received the spirit of this world. We have received the spirit which is from God so that we might know what God has freely given. Mm -hmm. If you don't know what God has given for free, many of your pastors, they end at salvation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They don't even believe healing is free. Mm-hmm. They don't even believe hearing the voice of God is free. Jesus said, my sheep know my voice. Free. Yeah. free. Yeah. 
free. No, 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 no. Let me say it one more time. Free. Yeah, free. free man. Freely given, meaning God just wanted to give. Yeah. But for you to even know what God freely wants you to have, let's just give an example. Mm-hmm. If you don't do 20 Hail Marys, <laughs> if you don't go fast, if you're not in the temple, if you're not doing this, if you're not doing that, something that is free yeah. has nothing to do with what I'm doing. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 Right. It was given. If I yeah. know it, I'll take it. Yeah. Yeah. Even if I am in the wrong. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because he did not put a restriction. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you have the spirit of God, you will know what is yours and you will take, take it. it. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. The prodigal son asked his father for what was in his inheritance. He knew what was his before he was even qualified to have it. Mm -hmm. And his father could not hold it from him. He gave it to him. Mm -hmm. When he squandered it, then he realized that he had messed up. He still went back and his father had more for him. I see people trying to teach about deep things. Mm. <laughs> and they can't even manifest it. It's just theories. Yeah. If you're not manifesting something in your life, shut your mouth. Right. Wow. You're lying. Wow. You don't have it yeah. yet. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Let it work for you first. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Amen. 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 My brother David Angel, God bless you, prophet. Are, are you getting what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. This is Amen. why for me, you know, I, I look at these things and I, I tell you, it shocks me. It really shocks me. Because I'm like, how can these people, mm-hmm. how can God entrust you with so much grace? But you're missing the big part that most of these men of God, do you know why they are, they are, they are in some, let me tell you, let me ask you a question. Mm-hmm. Out of the men of God that you know, how many of them can you go with a spiritual problem and they can fix it? Mm. Wow. Mm. That's good. So good. That's good. How many of them can you go with sickness and you'll be healed? Mm-hmm. How many of them can you go with them that you need direction and they will tell you God's mind? Yeah. How many of them can you go to them? They can bring you into restoration. How many of them can you go to them? They can even reveal to you what happened to you 20 years ago yeah. in order for you to be okay right now. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Hey. If they can't give you any depth of any spiritual thing, yeah. how many of them can bring genuine deliverance to you? Yeah. Yeah. Let me give you an example, right? Let me show you how different graces differ, right? Uh-huh. There is a man of God called Derek Prince. Mm-hmm. Yes. I loved him so much. He was a yes. great teacher of the word of God. Yeah. He was very good at deliverance. Yeah. Yes. Very, very good at deliverance. But every time he did deliverance, because... He understood the mechanics of something. You see, this is where revelation comes. Mm -hmm. Because he understood the mechanics of something. Before he prayed for people to be delivered, he made the people confess and denounce Mm -hmm. certain covenants Mm -hmm. for them to be free. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen me do that? No. No. Not that it's wrong to do it is because the knowledge that God has given us now Mm -hmm. is better than the knowledge that the great man of God had in his time. In his time, he understood because he's a teacher, he understood that in order for him to help you, all he is doing is leading you to bring deliverance to you. Mm -hmm. So he's teaching you to denounce something. So when we say, Father, in the name of Jesus, those things are broken. Mm -hmm. It is completely okay and it is good. But there are those who have been given the mandate Mm -hmm. to make whatever you did void. That you don't even need to participate in it. God himself will deliver. Come on. on, Are you getting what I'm saying? It's a different... (laughs) Do you get what I'm saying? These are different levels and dimensions of these things. Mm-hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? I'm not saying that. No, all I'm saying is that you have all I'm saying. He, what he was doing was correct, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But we need to advance because mm-hmm. revelation is unfolded as we go. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. If God comes to you, do you think he needs you to renounce? Did Abraham renounce anything? No. no. He was just disconnected. Yes. Mm-hmm. But you see, this is a realm. 
Yes. It is a dimension. Yes. If the Holy Spirit has not given it to you and he has not revealed it to you, you can't do it. Right. Mm. Mm -hmm. Look at how easily God uses us to do miracles. Yes. Easy. Why? Because it is a realm. And there's a certain revelation that is in between there that cannot be technically shared with you mm -hmm. at a certain time. But at a certain time, God will reveal it. Amen. All these things, all these things are given by the grace of our beautiful Lord and Savior. Amen. If you don't know what is for free, imagine you need to renounce what God already knows. Mm. You need to renounce what the blood of Jesus has already paid for. Wow. <laughs> As if God doesn't know that you don't even want that demon. Mm. Yeah. But yeah. notice whoever you encounter determines the manifestation of God. Yeah. Yeah. It means that we are all functioning based on the revealed truth of God. Mm -hmm. And the truth we have is what will manifest the God we have. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Amen. Wow. So what we have heard, what we have seen is what we manifest. Yeah. 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 That's true. Did Jesus make anyone renounce anything? Or did no. he just say, hey, come out of him? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying renouncing is wrong. Mm -hmm. It's perfectly correct. It is the back door to the grace. Mm. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Yes, yeah. yes. It is a formula. To get to the grace. Mm. But there are people who just keep. Uh -huh. They were given. Mm. Yeah. So spiritual things. Are received. Because the spirit of God. Has revealed to you what is yours. Yes. Mm -hmm. For free. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Thank God. Let's keep reading. Yeah. Verse 13. And we impart this in words, not taught by human wisdom, but taught by the Spirit, interpreting spiritual truths to those who are spiritual. Ah. Read verse 13 in King James, please. This is uh, 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 ESV. Which things also we speak. Not in the words which man's wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Ghost teaches, Conspa comparing spiritual things with spiritual. So number one, if I need to use a human demonstration mm. to reveal God to you, mm. I'm not using words taught by the Spirit. Mm -hmm. wow. Wow. That's good. No, I think you missed it. No. Yeah. But you'll say, but prophet, aren't we all using human words? No, 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 we are not. Mm. Have you ever noticed something? I teach very spiritual deep things in such simplicity. Yes. 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 yes yeah. True. yeah, that's true. Right. Yeah. Right. It is like, huh? How could you teach such a heavy thing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you made it seem so simple. No, I'm not making it seem. It is simple. Yeah. Mm -hmm. wow. Yeah. It is not anything complicated is not from God. Mm. If there is any complication, it means that you never heard from him. This is why for me, I'm not saying props are bad. It's okay to preach with props. Yeah. If the Holy Spirit leads you, it's okay. Yeah. But the props is not how you will know the word of God. Yeah. The only way you will receive the word of truth is you yourself must already be initiated by the Holy Spirit. Yeah. That is the only way I can reveal spiritual truths to you. Why? Because if your spirit is dull, mm. you will not receive spiritual things. Wow. But if your spirit is awake yeah. and yeah. It's not it's, it has not encountered the truth, it is waiting because it is thirsty for the truth. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So when the spiritual things are revealed, it will enter you easily yes. and you will get it. Yes. Yes. But if world, worldly ways yeah. are what are needed to mm. teach you. Mm. An example is this. Yeah. Some men of God think that they would dress cool to relate with people so they can hear them. Yeah. Wrong. Oh. That's why those people are not growing spiritually. Right. Yes. They are coming. But notice you are attracting them with carnality. Yeah. Yes. And you are also wow. teaching them carnality. Yeah. Yes. Yes. 
You're not teaching them anything spiritual. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You're just cool. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Becomes a club. A hundred percent. So true. It's cool. Okay, but prophet, you dress nice. Yeah, dress for me. I'm not dressing to attract anybody. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. This is just me. Yeah. Even on. when I wasn't dressing this good, people are still coming. Yeah. It's yeah. not because of what I'm dressing. Yes. And people come to me because of the words I speak, not yeah. because of how I look. Yes. yes. Amen. That's true. Amen. It's never been the case. Yeah. 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 That's true. I'm here with dreadlocks. Yeah. Nobody is coming to me because of my dreads. Yeah. If anything, their dreads are like, ah, how could you? Then they listen. They're like, oh, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> my dreads are not to attract you. This is what I like, so I did what yeah. I like. It has yeah. nothing to do with anybody. Yeah. Yes. I'm not doing anything from anyone. As long as God is cool, I'm cool. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Yeah. That's it. Somebody wrote me and said, oh, prophet, you know, your look may turn off some people from listening to the word of God. I said, that is your problem, not mine. Right. Those who listen to me are sent by God. If you don't listen to me, then it's you. Right. Yeah. Oh, because, you know, I, I, I almost turned you off, but then I listened, then I was changed. Yeah. Say, well, that has nothing to do with me. You listen because God sent you. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I'm not going to appease you. Because let me tell you, if I look poor, mm. they will say, ah, he can't yeah. really, he's not from God. Yep. If I dress nice, ah, he's stealing money. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, can I live for people? No, I will live for God. I can, because one will say, hey, another one will say, oh, hey, it becomes like, hey, oh, hey, oh. It never ends. So you live for you. As long as you're pleasing God, you walk right, you're fine. Amen. 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 That's true. Are you getting what I'm trying to yeah. say? Yeah. I'm just being honest with you people. Yes. Yeah. I don't live for anybody. Mm. Ah. At all. How can a man of God have tattoos? Leviticus 19. <laughs> <laughs> so wrong. I'm like, Papa. okay. There are two verses that I will give you. First of all, the Leviticus verse, you read it wrong. Right. It says, number one, don't cut your hair to the sides. Yeah. Or eat foods dedicated to other gods. Don't cut your body or put art on your body. For the dead, for I am the Lord. Everything there is a ritual mm. Mm. to gods and the dead. Mm. Yeah. Do you get haircuts? Yes. Yes. Then you should not get haircuts. Okay. Yeah. Do you shave your beard on the sides, like line it up? Then it's a sin, don't do it. Mm. But is that what the Bible is talking about? No. Okay, no. 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 let me give you another simple verse. The Bible says this. If, if salvation comes by the law, Mm -hmm. then the sacrifice of Jesus is of no effect. This is in Hebrews. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if I'm being saved because I followed the law, then it means the sacrifice of Jesus was of no effect because Jesus came to save us from what? The, the law. law. So why do you want me to keep the law that yeah. Jesus delivered me from? Yeah. 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 Come on. Come on, Papa. But the same person will backbite and not think that they're in danger with God. Yeah. But all these things is because their walk with God is in the flesh yeah. mm -hmm. and not the spirit. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Please read verse 14. Listen to this. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of oh, God. Oh, the natural man receives not the things of the spirit. It doesn't matter how you dress. Right. It doesn't matter how you look. Whoa. It doesn't matter what props you do. Good. It doesn't matter any of those things. Read it one more time, please. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of they God. cannot receive the things of the spirit. Why? For they are foolishness unto him. They are foolish unto him. Yeah. And what? Neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. Oh, so for you to even hear wow. God, discernment must be one. Yeah. 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 So if no spirituality is in you, you can't even receive. Mm. Yeah. You can't even understand. And it will look stupid to you. Yeah. How many times? Okay, I have a video that we did. I put up on um, TikTok uh, um, one week ago. Yeah. Within mm -hmm. 24 hours, it was over a million. Wow. Within a week, it's over 16 million views. Wow. Yeah. Over 16 million views wow. within a week. That's 16 million views wow. on TikTok Amen. within one week. Wow. Amen. Within one week, 80% of the people are like, wow. Others are like, ah, this is acting. Yeah. This is foolish. How can yeah. this be true? How can this? Where did you? And even Christians are like, okay, where did people 
Where did you ever see Jesus talking to demons? I can show you so many <laughs> verses. Right, right. <laughs> right. right. Too many. Too many verses. Oh. Is that huh? <laughs> you can't have conversations with demons. Well, Jesus did it. Right. Yeah. But you are afraid because you don't have the grace, nor do you know how it works. Exactly. Uh -huh. yeah. So you assume because you don't know, everybody doesn't know. Yes. So everything they are saying is because they want to put their experience on mm -hmm. us. Yeah. Yet, Uncle Fred, we passed those places long right. ago. Right. Yes. Long. Yeah. long time ago. Even men of God that have some gifts, they fear men of God that have greater gifts than them because they're insecure. Mm. Instead of becoming close so that you can grow, yeah. uh -huh. their insecurities mm -hmm. yeah. make them back. remain in the same level in the same dimension. Yes. Mm. Same level, same, same dimension. dimension. Why? Because they are insecure within themselves. Hmm. Yeah. Listen, I don't care where you put me. You can put a hundred people before. I will prophesy everyone. Yeah. I will yeah. deliver everybody. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I will know. Listen, it doesn't even matter. No, this is the truth. Yeah. Yeah. Because it I is. know what I have. Yeah. You see, somebody else will be like, God didn't speak to me. No, you just don't know how to hear. It's okay. Yeah. We can yeah. teach you. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. yeah. We can help you. Yeah, no, that's why, we, that's why some of us are seniors mm -hmm. in God. So we can be helped. Amen. Yes. Amen. Even me, I have been helped. Yeah. yeah. Nobody is, a, no man is an island. Uh -huh. yeah. mm -hmm. No man is an island. We are all learning. Yeah. God is infinite. That means that it never ends. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. But our levels change. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. that's true. I know men of God that are in this city, mm -hmm. they will never come to church. And there are very few that will come and say, I remember there's one apostle that I love so much. He's a good man. Him and his wife, they have their church in Orange County. Amazing man of God. I love this man of God. Very, very nice man of God. He came to me and he said, uh, Prophet, Prophet, we watched you. My son introduced me to you. And we watched you. And I knew that what you have is what we need. Mm. Mm. Wow. My heart broke. My heart actually broke. And I thought, and I was like, ah, Lord, why can't men of God be like this? Mm. Mm. That's true. I said, this, this is what we need. When I would teach, you would say, prophet, I used to teach this scripture wrong. Imagine this is a man with a church. He has planted over a hundred churches in the mm. world. Wow. Mm. Can say, ah, this one I didn't. Man of God, God has graced you. We are just here to receive, to grow. Whenever I can, I'll be in church. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Some are bishops with mm. two members. What are you bishoping? <laughs> 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 One thing I learned is that those people who are most difficult are mm -hmm. those who are empty. Yes, that's yeah. true. People who make the most demands are always the ones that pay less. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is just my personal observation. Yeah. And I'm not attacking anybody. I'm just uh, chastising some people. Yes. This is just a spiritual whooping. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. You don't esteem the word of God. That's why you can't hear him. Yeah. Mm. The Bible says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of what? Uh -huh. Some people are... Uh, <laughs> the fear of the Lord is the beginning of what? Wisdom. I can't hear you. Wisdom. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of what? Wisdom. So God gives you wisdom before you know knowledge. Because wisdom is when you're enlightened to know how to do something even though you don't understand it. Right. Wow. Mm. So the moment you begin to reverence God, mm. it means you will esteem also and reverence his words. Yeah. Is the moment you start getting unlocked. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I'm going to just share a few things very quickly. Number one, 
John chapter 1 verse 1. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. I'll skip and paraphrase this part. Mm -hmm. Nothing was made without him. Everything was made through him, by him, and for him. Mm -hmm. So if God is introducing himself as the word, if you don't esteem his word, then you don't esteem him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Jesus said, those who love me don't only hear my words, they keep it. Why? Because to keep the word of God is to keep God. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Let me tell you something very interesting about the Holy Spirit. We are over 900 people keep pushing the like button. Amen. Amen. Let me tell you a beautiful truth about the Holy Spirit. And it's revealed in Genesis chapter 1. Mm. Can you read it? Genesis chapter 1 verse 1. This is going to explode your mind for a second. Amen. Yes. Amen. Read it. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Mm -hmm. And the earth was without form and void. Mm -hmm. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Uh -huh. And God said, let there be light. Stop right there. Let me tell you what the Bible is telling you. The spirit of God always goes ahead to await the word of God. Mm. Wow. Mm. Wow. Mm. Where the word of God will be, yeah. the spirit of God will already be present. Yeah, mm. wow. yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. Wow. That's good. Hey. Wow. So yeah. 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 Teach That's us, good. Papa. Jesus said it like this mm -hmm. in John. <coughs> Those who love me and are the ones that keep my word, Mm -hmm. And I will make myself known. I will appear to you. Mm -hmm. yeah. The more you love my words and you keep them. You want to see Jesus. Keep his word. Wow. Yeah. Wow. No fasting will make you see Jesus. Wow. Yeah. Stop being carnal. You yeah. will see Jesus. Yeah. And the only way you stop being carnal. Yeah. Is the word. The word. Yeah. Esteem it. Mm. Know that this word is him. The spirit of God always goes ahead of the word. Why? Because it is the spirit of God that reveals Jesus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It will never change. It will always be like that. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, it is good for me to go. Yeah. Then I will send you the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. He will not speak of himself, but he will take of me. Mm -hmm. Because the Holy Spirit's duty is to glorify Jesus. Mm -hmm. yes. And Jesus to glorify the Father. Yes. And the Father to glorify the Holy Spirit. Yes. Uh. The word of God always follows where the Spirit is. Yes. Wow. So good. That is why Jesus said it like this. The words that I speak to you, they are spirit and they yes. are life. Why? B because wherever the Holy Spirit is, yes. is where the word of God goes. Yes. Yes. So if you don't have the Spirit of God in you. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Break it down. Wow. It means the word of God is not coming to you. Break it down. Those who walk with the presence of God are those who have the word of God. Yeah. Yeah. Because the spirit of God is attracted to the word of God. Wow. Yeah. Deeper. Worship doesn't make God come. Yes. Listen to what the Bible is saying. Mm -hmm. For God is seeking. Those who will worship him in spirit and truth. truth. Meaning God is looking for worshipers. Yeah. Wow. Not singers. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> not musicians. Mm. The level of the word of God in you, not knowledge, mm -hmm. yeah. but enlightenment. Okay, let me say it like this. Jesus said this. He said the, the, in Psalms, Psalms, I believe, 119. Psalms 119. I'm not sure what verse. Is it 105? Psalms 119, 105. The entrance of thy word giveth light. Okay, let's see if you are correct, Mr. Encyclopedia. <laughs> no, 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 that's not it. That's not, that's your word is a lamp unto my feet. Same thing.
Anyhow, when you find it, let me know. Maybe I'm, it's not even one nine, uh, 119. But this is what he says. The entrance of thy word giveth light. Mm -hmm. 119 verse 130. 130. What does it say? The entrance of thy word giveth light. It giveth understanding unto the simple. Ah. The entrance of thy word giveth light and gives understanding to the simple. You guys are sleeping, man. You are kind of making me upset. I don't like that. If somebody's going to read something, you pay attention and you go to them. It's not nice. Can you read it, please? The entrance of thy word giveth light. It giveth understanding to the simple. One more time. The entrance of thy word giveth light. It giveth understanding to the simple. What is that light? Wisdom. So I don't need to understand the word. As long as it's entering me, yeah. understanding is the yeah. after effect. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's good. So many of you, you want illustrations so that you can understand. Yet if you understand it through carnality, it means you are receiving carnality. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Uncle Fred, is this making sense? Yes, Papa. It's helping a lot. Okay, let me give you an example. When I met my son, Uncle Fred, he, always tell, he told me this story and I really laughed. Uncle Fred told me that the first time he called, other prophets were praying and they prayed for him. Yeah. And then, uh, Uncle Fred, tell the story, please. Tell the story. <laughs> <laughs> well, after two months calling every day, finally I was able to go through the line and uh, Papa said, I'm going to have my son Mike prophesy on you. Mm -hmm. Even though Mike prophesied to the dot, but I was kind of, uh, I wasn't excited. I wasn't happy. Like I say, hey, after these two months, I was hoping for Papa to prophesy on me. Mm -hmm. After the prophecy was done, before we would finish the call, uh, Papa said, son, I want to cover you. There is a case against you in the court, and I want to switch it to your favor. And at that time, I was shocked. I said, okay, thank you. I hang up. I called my sister. I said, "No, I, I, I told him that whatever it is, it will work in your favor. It won't actually work against you. Against you. Uh -huh. And I said, I don't even have a case. What was he talking about? Two weeks later, a friend of mine, I rented a house long time ago for him. He didn't have a credit. And kind of our, our we lost connection together. I wouldn't visit him uh, often. And after two weeks, he called me and says, Fred, there is uh, something I want to hear you from me. And I said, what's going on? He said, the house burned down. I said, okay, like, so what? He said, no, I was growing weed in the house and caught on fire and everything. Mm -hmm. And the insurance is not going to cover and all that stuff. And after that, I started receiving phone calls from the landlord, uh, from the insurance company. They even sent me a letter that they were opening a lawsuit against me. And I was concerned and worried. I went, I hired the attorney. The attorney told me I ca they can't do nothing. Like I can't do anything because I don't have insurance. My name is on the line. And uh, whatever they were doing was illegal and everything was falling on me. At that time, I remember what Papa Lovi prophesied on me. Yeah. And I said, God, yes. your man told something that is going to yes. switch. Yeah. Right. And after eight years, my friend went back to the landlord and he says, can we switch uh, the contract under my name? Fred has nothing to do with this case. And the landlord says, sure, no problem. During these eight years, he went a few times, and every time the landlord rejected. Now the house that is burned down, he changed the contract, backdated, and I, w I walked away free. Yeah. 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 Amen. <laughs> <laughs> but you see, Spirituality works like that. Yeah. Yes. When God mm -hmm. speaks, because me, I'm seeing it like in the present. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For eight years, he was trying to change that thing. The guy refused. Uh -huh. When everything is burnt down, the guy now is switching it. Yeah. Yet the guy who was doing all those things didn't even have a, 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 a what is it called? He didn't even have the funds to take yeah. care of. Until now, the place is not paid, right? Yeah. It's mm -hmm. not taken care of. What do you think made him switch? The word of God always yeah. goes where the spirit has proceeded. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Amen. Amen. Wow. 
So, these are the things that we try to, to explain to you. Mm -hmm. So that you are more spiritual. Spiritual things can only be discerned by the spiritual. Notice I didn't sugarcoat it. I said it the way it was. But yeah. when the happenings came, yes. he remembered and everything changed. Notice the word gave him understanding of the season. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Let me help you see something. Yeah, help us. Please, Papa. Let me see, help you see something. Help us. The word of God is quick. It means the word of God is active. Can I tell you the truth? Yes, yes please, Papa. God doesn't speak from heaven. Mm. You already spoke. Mm. The Bible says that God has rested from all his work. Wow. wow. Mm -hmm. Every word that we're experiencing is what he spoke. It's just in the atmosphere. Who's going to catch it? Wow. Come on. Wow. That's good. God is not creating solutions on the fly. It's a lie. <laughs> He's telling you all things work for your good. Yeah. Do you think <laughs> yeah. it means this thing is already pre-programmed, pre-planned? Yeah. It's who is going to tap into what has been spoken. Yeah. It's only centered on one thing. Yeah. Are you spiritual? Right. You're missing your season because you're not spiritual. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. yeah. Because perspective is reality. Yeah. Hey. What you perceive is your reality. Yeah. 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 What you don't perceive doesn't become reality. At all. Right. Some of you, you think when you declare the word of God, it means now you have made the word of God strong. No. No. Mm. The word of God is strong by itself. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to give you one verse and I'll yeah. finish with this. Amen. Mm, God is too much. Amen. Yeah. You're I'm trying my best. Oh, yeah. Amen. Kadabashaya. Oh, Jesus. Mm. Are you ready? Yes. I'm ready. Hebrews 11, verse 3. Through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed. Oh, hold on, hold on, slowly, slow, slow, savor it. Through faith, we understand. Stop right there. Notice faith is understanding. Hey. Mm. Through faith, you can understand. Why? That the worlds were framed. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. <laughs> Through faith, we understand. What is faith? Faith is not believing in the word of God. Mm-hmm. Faith is the act of the word of God. Mm. This is where God gets frustrated with human beings. Mm. You want, you're ready to hear God's frustration? Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. Let's keep those thumbs up going. Let's keep those thumbs up going. I'm about to finish. God doesn't explain himself. Mm -hmm. But faith makes you understand. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let me give you an example. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> you will understand, just, just, it's okay. <laughs> Patience. You'll catch it in a second. God's frustration with men is this. The Bible says he sent his word mm -hmm. and healed them. Another verse says like this. My word shall not return unto me void, mm -hmm. but it, it shall accomplish what he was set. It will prosper mm -hmm. and it shall accomplish what he was set out to do. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yes. The difference between a carnal man and God is this. And you realize many of you think you're spiritual, but you're carnal. Mm. Yeah. And I'll prove it to you. Mm. You have some spirituality, but you're not really fully spiritual. Mm -hmm. Mm. Let me explain it to you. Please. Explain it. Who is a carnal man? Yeah. And what makes a man carnal? And what makes God God? Mm -hmm. 
And why do you need faith for you to start operating in the supernatural? God cannot be separated. F is the word of God mm -hmm. cannot be separated from the actions of God. Mm -hmm. Yes. The act of God and the word of God are one and the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah. God doesn't believe in his word for it to work mm -hmm. because he is his word. Yeah. His word is not his bond. Mm. His word, it is him. Yeah. Yes. That is why he says it like this. He says, God is not man that he should lie, nor mm -hmm. is he the son of man that he should repent. Mm. Why? What God says does not come to pass it is reality itself. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Wow. That's good. Why? Because God is his word. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 When God says you are blessed, it's because the blessing already came. The word yeah. is actually revealing what God has already done. Yeah. Mm. Faith is the act of God. Mm. And God said, let there be light and light was. Mm -hmm. But actually, if you read it in Hebrew, it doesn't even say let there be light because that is a suggestion. Mm -hmm. God said light be and light was. Yeah. Yeah. If you read it in Hebrew, it says in the beginning, God, it actually says God, then the beginning, he prepareth the heavens and the earth. Then God said light be and light was. Notice the difference mm -hmm. because you cannot have the beginning without God. Mm -hmm. God yeah. is the cause of the beginning because yeah. that is time. Yeah. Yes. God is outside of time. God uh -huh. did not begin within time. Yeah. He is the cause of reality. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So God prepared mm -hmm. the heavens and the earth. Mm -hmm. What you see, the word they are created, creation and making are different. If you read first, if you read Genesis chapter 2, verse 1, from verse 1, it says, And God rested from the, all his works, which he had created and made, yeah. is different. Mm -hmm. In Genesis chapter 1, you are seeing the creation that is described in verse 1. Mm -hmm. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Right now, if I say, I am creating something, it means that I am brainstorming yeah. on something. Right. When I start now designing it, mm -hmm. I am still in the creative process. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so true. Yeah. When that creative process has ended, then we go into manufacturing or the making of the product. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. No one can make a product without first creating it. That is why we pattern ideas. Yes. Right. So if somebody tries to steal your idea, you yeah. can sue them because your idea was already created. Yeah. Yeah. It was just not made. Yeah. 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 That's so good. Wow. Yeah. Do you get what I'm yes. saying? Yeah. Yes. So when God was creating, he was just brainstorming. Mm. Yeah. Mm. It was not material yet. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Are you getting this? Yes. Yeah. Are you understanding this? Yes. yes. Now watch this. And God said, light be, and light was. Mm -hmm. What happened right there? His word caused something to actually happen, but the words were simply transporting what he had already created. You cannot separate the word of God from his act. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. God gets frustrated with us because our words don't carry us. Mm. Wow. They carry our aspirations, mm. but they don't carry our actions. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. They carry our desires, but they don't carry our actions. actions. Mm. That is why God says faith without works is what? Dead. 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 So the reason why we cannot echo the word of God Mm. We cannot vibrate or bring the vibration of the word of God mm -hmm. into being. It's simply because when we declare the word of God, we are thinking that it is our declaration that is making it happen. Mm. Mm. We fail to understand that if I truly receive this truth, mm -hmm. yeah. 
it means my perspective has changed. Yeah. And if my perspective changes, I know that this word that is being spoken is being carried out now yeah mm. my declaration is to bring my soul up to speed yeah yeah, so good. yeah. How about yeah. So good. Good. i don't know if somebody's getting this yeah yeah, yeah. So if so, some people say, I decree and declare changes, changes, changes. But you, are, you think your force of praying is the yeah. change. Mm. No. no. You are separated from that word. You don't understand that the word and God cannot be separated. Mm -hmm. The word is the act of God. Yeah. Faith is the act of God. Yeah. So when I am in faith, it means mm. I am acting like God. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Amen. Yeah. That's good. That's good. That's good. Amen. Faith is not believing because mm -hmm. believing is not faith. Yeah. yeah. Wow, wow. Believing is not faith. Right. Yeah. The father brings his son who was demon possessed to Jesus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Says, Lord, your disciples tried to cast out this demon and they failed. Mm -hmm. If you can do anything for him, please do. Jesus looked at him and said, if I can do anything. Yeah. The man cried, Lord, help my unbelief. Yeah. You see, many of you are not in faith because this is your action. Mm -hmm. If God, you can do anything, mm -hmm. you don't know that he has done everything. Yeah. Yeah. God, wow. The Bible says wow. this, everything pertaining to life and godliness, mm -hmm. <laughs> he has made it available. Yeah. Yeah. Go back to the Hebrews thing that I was explaining. Let me show you how powerful the word of God is and why the word of God itself, the word of God itself is active. Okay? Read it again. Hebrews 11.3. Mm -hmm. Through faith we understand. So we understand through the act of God. Faith is the act of God. Yes. Okay? Keep reading. That the worlds were framed by the word of God. The worlds were framed by the word of God. What are the worlds? Realities. Mm -hmm. The visible, the invisible, the angelic realm, the spiritual realm. Mm -hmm. Every reality has been framed by the word of God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We know through the acts of God. What are the acts of God that are making us understand? When you look at the earth suspended in space, just floating around the sun yeah. in perfect access. Yeah. What is making the earth do that? It means the word of God is alive and active. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, yes. Every day. Uh, uh, somebody didn't understand what I'm yeah. saying. You know that that word that God spoke before reality began yeah. has framed the earth to be in perfect access 24-7. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Moving in perfect rotation. Yeah. Mm. We know that the earth and the universe is the way it is because there is a cornerstone. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Yeah. But when you read Genesis, it doesn't tell you what the cornerstone is. Mm. But we know Jesus is the cornerstone. Yeah. Yeah. But we know Jesus is the word. Yeah. So we know there is a word that is keeping the universe the way it is. Yeah. Yeah. Who told the ocean, you can come this yeah, far, right, right. and your proud waves can come this far? Yeah. Do you know why we know where the beach is? Because there is a word that has kept the water from staying yeah. where it is. Yes. Yes. Amen. Right. <laughs> Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. This thing is simple. It's not yes. even complicated. Yes. Right. There's a reason why the ocean is where it is. Do you know what? The, when people see floods, they say, oh, there was a demon that did it. It's a lie. Yeah. Listen to what the Bible says. Mm -hmm. I'll read it to you. Yes. Let me find the scripture for you. Amen. So that you don't say I say this. I'm just trying to help you. Help us. Thank, Thank you, Papa. Amen. Thank you. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Job 38, 11. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. 
listen to this. <laughs> Uh, actually, I want Will to read this one. Can somebody give Uncle Will the mic? I love his intensity. On this one, it will be deep. <laughs> <laughs> amen, amen. Uh, listen to this. Job 38, verse 11. Uh -huh. And said hitherto, shall thou come, but no further. And here shall thou pride waves be stayed. Okay, notice what God is talking about the ocean, right? Yes. Yeah. He's saying you can only come this far. Right. Yeah. Mm. And your proud wave can go this far. Mm -hmm. So whenever you see homes being carried away by the oceans, they built where the proud waves were allowed to go. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. yeah. Wow. wow. Teach us. That's good. Wow. That's wow. That's wow. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Can you read it in another version so that we can help some people? Uh -huh. Wow, just an act of something, you know, <laughs> a spirit is going to bring a flood. Don't you realize most of the places people are building, water used to be all the way there. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. It just reduced its pride a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. One day it will be proud again. <laughs> it will knock out things and then pull back again. Yeah. But you say, no. A demon did it. Mm. <laughs> Why do you guys give demons so much power? Right. Yeah. Don't right. you know there are four angels in the four corners of the earth? Yeah. yeah. Amen. Controlling Amen. all the four winds of the earth. Yes. Amen. Wow. Amen. yes. 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 Nothing is happening that... <laughs> I wish you understood the power of the word of God. Amen. Mm. Amen. 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 Read it one more time, please, my son. Job 38, Amplified Version, verse mm. 11. Mm -hmm. And said, this far you shall come but no further. Mm -hmm. And here your proud waves shall stop. So everywhere where we know, we, we know places that water used to be here, water used to be here, but it went backward. Oh, yeah. Who told you that it won't come again? Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 But you see that you say, ah, oh, demonic, ah, yeah, 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 rabba, shadaba. Father, we command the sea. <laughs> Do you notice Jesus just corrected the sea mm -hmm. when he was yeah. in the boat and it was waves and Jesus just said, he rebuked the wind. He said, hey, you, calm down. And he told the sea, relax. Yeah. The sea were trying to do their proud thing that they were allowed to do. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus just said, not on my watch. I'm here. What are you doing? You're scaring my people. That's why Jesus didn't bother. Right. Yeah. Jesus didn't bother because it was normal to him. This mm -hmm. is what the waters is supposed to do yeah. from time to time. But all of a sudden, the disciples are saying, ah, don't you care we die? They say, okay, 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 ah. It's wind, shh, water, relax. Everything came down. Mm -hmm. Notice he did not say Jesus rebuked the spirit of the sea. Yeah. 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 Uh-huh. And Jesus said, marine spirit, mermaid spirit, spirit from the sea. I'm 
just showing you that there's a lot of things that you're doing that you are not mm -hmm. spiritual. That's why you're doing it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. We are over 960 now. Yeah. Please, let's keep those thumbs up going. Amen. 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 All these things are simply because the understanding of many shadows. We know through faith that the worlds were framed by the word of God. Mm -hmm. So what is keeping reality is the fact that the word is active. Mm -hmm. Notice there is a timeline that God gave that he would pull his word in order to create a new heaven and a new earth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he put an end to where the words will sustain things and then he will speak again to make new things. Do you realize that everything you receive from God is because of his words? Yes. yes. Because his words are the acts of God. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. Faith is acting like God yeah. and believing. Wow. Yeah. Your struggle with hearing God, let me give you an example. When you are carnal, you are in a situation. Okay? You are in a situation. Life is going crazy. Mm -hmm. God, I, 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 everything is upside down. Say, like, Father, where are you? Father, where will the solution be? God is like, but I already spoke to you. Mm -hmm. All things work for your good. Yeah. Why? Yeah. You see, because you're not in that frame of mind, yeah. that's why you're not hearing anything. Mm -hmm. You already spoke. Maybe somebody missed it. That's, no, we can't. That's, good. Yeah. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's you are trying to hear just to satisfy something, but you already spoke. Yeah. Yes. This too shall not end in death. Mm -hmm. But you can't hear because you want something else mm -hmm. to satisfy what you want. Mm -hmm. So you are seeking for a word, yet God already spoke. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you realize when I prophesy to people, I just reveal to you what he has already said. Yeah. I'm not saying yes. that this is what he's saying right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He already spoke it. I just have the capacity to know what he said about you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does it not say your life has been grafted in my hand? My hand. Yeah. Yes. Everything that will happen to you, he has ordained it. Yes. Me, I just happen to have the grace to know what is happening. Yes. Mm -hmm. I just have the grace to capture what he had already said. You who he spoke about, you are missing it because you don't understand that he has already spoken. Uh, Our teachers. Our teachers. Yeah. So the first thing that is stopping you from hearing from God is number one, you are working with deceptive doctrines. Yeah. Yes. Number two, you don't esteem the word of God. Mm. Yeah. Number three, God already spoke. Right. Yes. Because you don't esteem his word, you don't know that his word is active That's now. True. You just need me to say something for you to receive faith. No, no. Okay, now the prophet, because he said it, God has said it. No, mm -hmm. the prophet doesn't need to say anything. Right. Jesus already spoke. Right. Do you mm -hmm. believe? Yeah. Do you know it? Because unless you're in faith, you won't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Many of our preachers just preach, ah, it doesn't matter <laughs> how it looks like <laughs> you're coming out. <laughs> but they don't even know what they are saying. Right. Yes. Yes. What they are saying there is truth, but they are not saying it in spirit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They are not telling you, stop panicking, you already spoke. Yes. It will not end in death. They are not training you in that way. Yes. It's just a good work. Then you go home, you panic again. Yeah. Yes, that's <laughs> true. I'm just keeping it 100. Keep yes, it Papa. Yes. It's true. Thank you for revealing it to us. I'm going to give you one exercise to do. Yes. Yes. Please. Amen. That I believe it will put you in the place that God wants you to be. Mm -hmm. Amen. I want you to do this simple exercise. Be in the habit of praying. Praying for spiritual elevation Amen. and spiritual transformation before you read the word of God. 
so that the word of God can go to your spirit, not to your mind. So that light can enter you. The entrance of thy word giveth light. And it gives understanding to the simple. Mm. Father, that when I read your word, I don't want to understand it with my mind. Let it go into my spirit and from my spirit let, let understanding come. Mm. See, the problem is we are trying to retain the word of God with our brain. Yes with our memory, mm -hmm. yet it should be in our spirit because when it enters our spirit, it becomes how we react. It just becomes what we do. It just becomes our reflex. It just becomes our reaction. See, that's what God wants. He wants the word of God to become part of you, not to be in your mind. Mm -hmm become part of you. Amen. Mm. And the word became flesh. When the word of God is inside you, it is attached to you. Mm -hmm. It just becomes what you do. Mm. You just can't lie anymore. Yeah. Yeah. You just know that God is going to do something. You don't even care it will happen. You just know that there is something that happens to you. Mm -hmm. That is when the light of the word enters you. Don't just grab the Bible and just start reading stories, jumping to another. Mm. Be prayerful. Mm. Yeah. Father, I am about to touch your word. Mm. Let me have an experience with you. Amen. Let my spirit be unlocked. Amen. Father, let my understanding come by you touching my spirit. Mm. Let it not come from me trying to understand what I am seeing. But let there be a light bulb that will light from my spirit, that will enlighten my... You see, we are working opposite. We are trying to get it here and thinking that means we got it in there. No. The word of God begins to change us from inside out, not from outside in. The soul is still the outward part. Mm -hmm. The soul is not the inward part. The spirit is the inward part. Mm -hmm. When the word begins to change us in our spirit, you see, David said it like this. Create in me a new heart, O God, mm -hmm. and renew a right spirit within me. When the word of God enters you, yep. it renews the mode of your spirit. Your spirit yeah. is recalibrated. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Jesus said this, if the word, if the, if your eyes are full of light, then your whole body will be full of light. Yeah. But if the light that is inside of you has become darkness, then how deep is that darkness? Mm. What does that mean? What does that mean? Yeah. If your eye is full of light, your whole body will be full of light. What he's talking about is your spirit. If your spirit is full of light, Mm -hmm. Your whole body, meaning your, your soul and your body, because of the light that is in your spirit, your whole being will be lit up. Mm. You yeah. see, when I was doing deliverance, the demons kept saying, we just see light. We don't even know where it's yeah. coming from. Yeah. Yes. Too much light. Yeah. Too much. Too much. Yeah. Yeah. What they are seeing is what, my, what makes your spirit illuminate mm. is the word of life because the word of God's main attribute is light. But Jesus went on to say, but if the light in you mm -hmm. is darkness, mm -hmm. how deep is that darkness? Mm. Mm. How can light become darkness? Yeah. Yeah. What you don't understand is that light and darkness are the same. Mm -hmm. mm. There are two opposite spectrums of the mm. same thing. Mm. And God separated the light from the darkness. The mm. Bible says the light and darkness are all the same to you. Light and darkness are the same thing. You see, you can start well with truth. But the moment you forsake truth mm -hmm. and your spirit is disconnected from the consistent light that comes from the word of God, mm -hmm. your spirit goes dark. Mm -hmm. 
and the word inside of you becomes converted. Why does it convert into darkness? Because now the one who is managing it is your soul, no longer your spirit. Yeah. Wow. So the word of God inside of you becomes perverted. Mm. Have you ever seen men of God and you ask yourself, how could they fall off like this? Mm. Yes. Yeah. How could, there's a prophet that made a lot of waves in America at a certain time. He was with Benny Hinn. He used to have dreads and all this, but powerful young man in God. Now if you see him, you can't even recognize him. Mm. Mm. It's because the light is converted. Mm. Mm. When somebody starts calling the anointing chi, uh, it's like, you know, the, the anointing is chi. Chi is the life force. Are you Chinese? <laughs> not Chinese. And, and what it's talking about is talking about the inner spirit. It's not even talking about the anointing and the inner spirit are two different things. Yeah. But it just shows you the perversion. Mm -hmm. yeah. When we start moving with our own wisdom, what yeah. happens is this the light becomes darkness because now we are beginning, you see the Bible says it like, in the last days many shall depart from their faith. Right. It's not mm -hmm. saying they will leave the faith. They will depart from their faith. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Makes sense. Will depart from their faith. Abiding by doctrines of devils It means that de demons also will begin to interject their thoughts mm. and what was intended for good becomes converted. Mm -hmm. Listen, mm. I am not talking about the outward appearance of any man of God. People can do whatever they want. Look at me. I'm doing me. Mm -hmm. But what I'm talking about, the recognition that I'm speaking about is a certain presence. Mm -hmm. <sighs> there is such beauty when somebody is in the light there is a certain atmosphere. There is a certain presence that they move with. Where they go, there is a certain presence that pushes them, that moves with them, that people will listen, not because they are doing anything. There is a presence that speaks. Yes. There is a presence that speaks. When I turn on that presence, anybody around me knows. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. When I'm teaching, sometimes even Brandes will tell me, Papa, you know your face was lighting up. Mm -hmm. When you do this thing, always your face starts looking strange. Yeah. It's because there is something. Remember what the Bible said about Stephen? Yeah. And his face will begin to shine. Yes. There is such a beauty. Listen to me. There is such a beauty. Mm -hmm. Such a purity. Yeah. Not the acting kind. That somebody can look regular, but you're like, what is this atmosphere around this person? Mm -hmm. It is that light. The moment you disconnect to that light, the words inside of you, because they can be repurposed, they can enter into darkness. That's why somebody, when, when colonial, in colonial days, in the crusaders' days, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They use the same word of God to justify slavery, yet the Bible rejects slavery. Yeah. Right. How yeah. could they do that? Because they repurposed it. Mm. Mm. The light became darkness. Mm. Mm. Yeah. How deep. You go to occultic people, Masons, they will tell you, bring the King James Bible. But they are not really following it. Mm. The truth has been darkened. Mm. Mm. Yes. Because it's a sword, it can be repurposed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But the only way you remain in the proper place is the consistent communion with the Spirit of God yes. as you feast on the Word of God. Mm -hmm. There is something that is maintained in you. Mm -hmm. There's a certain brightness. You know, when I walk around, and sometimes I look at even the worship team, I'll look at those people who are serving. I can tell who's been praying and who hasn't. Mm -hmm. wow. I can tell who has been living right yeah. and who doesn't. Mm -hmm. Because those who have been doing right things, when I look at them, I just see their faces shining. You can't see it, but I can. Yeah. Wow. Amen. And then some people wonder, why is it, uh, why is it that Papa Lou is not 
I'm trying to be close. I'm trying to be. I just look at you from a distance because I know what you're doing. Yeah. But I just don't say anything. Yeah. I just watch. I still love you. But mm. I know you're not trying to grow. Mm. Anyone can make a mistake. You see, yeah. making a mistake doesn't dim the, the light. Mm -hmm. If anything, the light shines br brighter so that grace can carry you. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Amen. But when you're not doing anything, you're just living, you darken. Mm. Yeah. Have you ever seen such a beautiful person, you look at them, they just look ugly. Yeah. They are irritating you, you don't even know why. Yeah. There is a certain, listen to me, there is a certain beauty. There is a certain excellence. There is a certain purity. There is a beautiful elevation that takes place when you're walking in the light. Mm. No demon. Do you realize even most of the diseases and viruses cannot last in light? Mm -hmm. Mm. They die. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Demons don't like light. Mm -hmm. Nothing negative likes light. Mm -hmm. Be in the character of retaining the word in the spirit. Have you ever just sat down like this and a scripture comes in your heart and you don't even know? It is your spirit trying to pump things to you. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Sometimes you just sit and you feel an urge to pray. Many of you will ignore it. It is your spirit trying to pull you to be in line, but you ignore it. And because you ignore it, you remain in the dark. Mm. Because when that season comes and it passes, then you are shunning your spirit and your spirit will lose strength because your spirit is strengthened by the communion with God. Mm. Mm. Your soul is changed by hearing the word of God. Amen. But your inner man is strengthened by the communion of the word of God inside. That's what gives it light. Because God is the light, we are not. We become the light because we are in him. Amen. Mm -hmm. The brightness of angels is because of where they are and where they have been. So when they come, there is a presence you feel like God has come. It is because they have been in that presence, they've been saturated with that presence. So when they come, it's just brightness and light. Demons cannot. You know, when New Year's Eve service, mm -hmm. when people are being delivered, do you know it was one angel doing that? Mm. Mm. It was one guy. Wow. Wow. It was just one guy. Wow. I have a lot of them, but mm -hmm. one guy was the one doing all the work. The mighty one. I won't tell you his name. <laughs> <laughs> and he's not a Hebrew name either. The mighty one. He's the one who was doing all that. One angel. One. One angel. But they cannot work independent of you. Hmm. Because they are co laborers. One. Hmm. Somebody said Angel Michael, no. <laughs> Jesus said, I am the word. Mm -hmm. He also said, I am the truth. Mm -hmm. He said, I also, I am the light of the world. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the light is in the word. Mm -hmm. Amen. I pray that this will truly enter you. Amen. 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 My Lord and my God, I pray for everybody that is watching. Wherever they are in the world, Lord Jesus, you know them. You know them more they would ever know themselves. Mm -hmm. And Lord, you have made a way for each and every one of us to be carriers of the light of the truth of your word. That the anointing that operates through your word is transmitted through the light of the spirit. Lord, I pray that their presence will be an extension of your presence. Amen. That wherever they are, the sick, the lost, the dead, will be redeemed simply because of the light they illuminate. 
Wherever Peter went, he didn't need to pray. His presence mm. raised those who were sick. Mm. Father, let it be the same for them. Mm. I thank you for your goodness, your kindness, for who you are. In the beautiful name of your son, Jesus. Jesus Amen. 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 Listen to me, children. Tomorrow is prophetic service. You Amen. don't want to miss it. Amen. It will be powerful. It will be dynamic. Yes. Yes. Listen to this word again. Let it change you. Share with those whom you love. Mm. And Jesus is always lifted. Amen. From me and Uncle Fred or Uncle Fahed. <laughs> <laughs> May God bless you. I will see you tomorrow. Shalom. God bless you. Shalom. Shalom.